Hello. Uh, this time, this time round, I'm going to be doing my um, review of Google Chrome. Now, I've waited till now because I finally started using it as my default browser. Because before this, I was a Firefox guy. Now, anyone who's been with Firefox and has tried Google Chrome, they all have the same problem. It will be hard to switch because of the lack of add-ons. Well now, let me tell you, Chrome has actually started supporting extensions. So I gave it a try. You've still got the incredible speed. You've got customizable themes as you can see here. I've got a theme in, act in place in action. Now, um, <coughs> how did I get there? Ignore that. Um, okay, so say I wanted to load up the Apple website that's here. One click. See? Fast as anything. Now, let me bring up one of my bookmarks. Not too bad. A little slower, but that's probably more due to the server than anything. Now, uh, to show you the Google extensions. See? Fast load again. Now, here is the URL where you will find the extensions. Now, if you install Google Chrome, you'll find you won't have to put this URL in. This URL it's only worth putting in if you just want to look at the extensions Chrome has available at the moment, but you don't want to install Chrome yet. You want to check first. Then you put in chrome.google.com forward slash extensions. Okay, now let's have a look at some. Now, let's say you wanted to block ads. I mean, that's one of the most typical things for, um, for a browser extension. Because there's a lot of people, or if you're anything like me, you get annoyed by them annoying ads and banner ads. Now, just put in ad block and search. Now, see this one, the top one? Now, that's the one I use. Now, you'd think maybe one of these or whatever, because they seem more familiar. This would be daunting to you because it's not Adblock Plus. However, you installed this. I guarantee you it will work fantastically if you use it in partnership with this browser button for Adblock. It's a little front end for it where it will add this little browser button. And then, say if you're on a site and it's got... I don't know, let's just bring a random site up. Right, now you see, I'm not having any ad, ad problems anyway on any websites. No, no ad problems at all. Uh, Xbox 360 achievements, let's try that one. Now these are always slow to load. You can try this in any web browser. Uh, my my experience, Xbox 360 achievements have terrible load times, so it's it's a server if you ask me. Anyway, it's loaded lot. Now, say this here, this frame you wanted to get rid of. Say you know, well this is a banner ad from to me, and I don't like it. You know, it's telling me about games, it's relevant, but I don't want it there. Click on your ad block button up here, browser button up here labeled add block options if you hover over it click once and then you see this block and add on this page click on it then it tells you to select the ad that you want to block just click on it clicked on it look it's removed it already now you have a slider here where you can if you slide it it will help clean it up. Now if you drag past there, look, it gets rid of the entire frame. So we don't want to do that. But if we do that, look, it cleans it up a bit. So let's leave it about there and say it looks good. 
matches two items on the page. Now if you're unsure they recommend to block it, but you can always cancel or go back. But just click block it. I'm going to trust it. Refreshes the page. <coughs> Excuse me. And look, that ad's gone. It's cleaned up the page a little. And look, n no more ads really. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> the page is clean. So, that's basically it. If you notice here as well, I have Web, and Web of Trust installed, which is quite a common add-on for Firefox users. <coughs> if you don't know how it works, however, I'll show you. If excuse me, I've got one of hair in the throat coughs. Um, okay, let's bring Google up. Let's search for um, wallpapers. Just a common search. And look, Web of Trust rates each site. Green is a trusted site or, you know, a decent site. Yellow or orange, the orangey colour here is not recommended. And red usually means stay away. You know, don't go near it. And I E tab as well. Now... Firefox users should be familiar with this. One click and it displays the tab rendered in IE. One click again. Oh, no, forgive me for that. Just close it there. There we go. Yeah, so just close it here and you're back to the standard Chrome rendering. Fast loading pages. Add-ons, however basic, give it time, they will get better and there will be more available. You know, fast page load, custom themes, you know, fast page load, let's load up lockgnome.net for example. You know, loads relatively instant. I'm very happy with it. I finally made the switch from um, Firefox to Google Chrome and I will be staying with it as my default browser unless miraculously some faster browser that also supports extensions appears but somehow I get the feeling I will be with Google Chrome for a long long time okay thank you very much for listening